I'm pretty much sure the first and the most important question which you guys will be getting right now are eight months enough to crack the NEET examination? My dear students, as I keep on telling you all the time, all the time I keep on telling you, cracking any sort of computer examination, it's all the mental game. I've trained those sort of students, I've seen those sort of students who could not crack this particular examination in two years also. I've seen those students as well who have cracked this examination in just six months, seven months. So if you're thinking eight months are not enough, my dear students, you're absolutely wrong. The ones who are telling you eight months are not enough to crack this particular examination, if you start from zero, no, you're wrong there. My dear students, if you are willing to dedicate these eight months completely towards the neat preparation, if you are willing to dedicate 10 to 12 hours every single day for the upcoming eight months, nobody is going to stop you in order to enter into your dream college for sure. That is my promise. Provided you exactly follow what I'm going to tell you in this particular session. That is the answer of your first question. Yes, eight months are enough to crack this particular examination if you are willing to dedicate 10 to 12 hours every single day for complete eight upcoming months. Question number one. This is one more question which you guys will be getting. All right, we have made our mind to kickstart the preparation, but from where to start? What kind of sequence we need to follow in order to uh, start the preparation? What should be the first chapter from where we should start in physics, chemistry, biology? I'm pretty much sure this particular question we, you would be also getting right now. Okay, and let me try to answer this particular question as well. My dear students, you need not to do something different. You need to do ordinary things. You need to do ordinary things in an amazing way. That's all. No need to do any sort of different things. Just do the ordinary things differently, but yeah? What does that mean exactly? You just have to follow your NCRT sequence in all the subjects. Be it in physics, be it in chemistry, be it in biology. Whatever sequence of chapters is given in your NCRT, just follow that. Just follow that, right? If you do not have any NCRT yet, get the NC NCRTs right now and just see exactly what is the first chapter mentioned in the NCRT, start from that, then move to the second. Do not directly go to the 8th chapter. Do not directly go to the 10th chapter. Do not directly, directly go to the 5th chapter. My dear students, it's all connected. Once you are done with chapter 1, then you are fit enough to enter into uh, chapter 2. Right? Once you are done with chapter 2, then you are fit enough to enter into chapter 3. Do not jump. Otherwise, you'll miss some stairs in between. Right? Point number 1. Now, you must be thinking, in chemistry, what has to be the sequence? My dear students, in chemistry, see, if you look at your NCRT, if you look at your NCRT, right? In NCRT, it is not separately given as this part is physical, this part is organic, this part is inorg inorganic. They have given the chapters of physical, inorganic and organic combinedly, right? But you exactly know which chapter belongs to physical chemistry, which chapter belongs to organic and which chapter belongs to inorganic. See, your first chapter is a mole concept. So if you are starting with your physical chemistry, start with the mole concept. Then go to your next chapter. Right, then go to the next chapter. Follow the NCRT sequence for physical chemistry, organic as well as inorganic. Right? No need to follow any other things. Perfect. Or there is one more sequence which you can follow in your physical chemistry that I gave you in the last video, which I posted almost almost like two, three weeks back. That is one more sequence which is going to help you out in order to ease out your preparation when it comes to physical, inorganic, and organic chemistry. But for your physics and biology, just go with the NCRT sequence. Here also you can go with the NCRT sequence for physical differently, organic differently, inorganic differently. But I think the kind of sequence which I gave you in the last video, that was completely better, right? As compared to what is given in NCRT. So as to comprehend all the things in a better way. Okay. Now my dear students, as I told you, as I told you, make up your mind for 10 hours of study every single day. If you are doing that, trust me, you can easily crack it you can easily crack it, okay? Because 10 hours of study every single day for complete eight months, that's not only enough to crack this particular examination, even that is enough to make you one of the toppers as well. And that can be done. If you are willing to dedicate these eight months in a proper direction, okay? Now, what kind of direction exactly I'm talking about? My dear students, every single day, you just have to prioritize two subjects. Two subjects you have to study every single day. For example, today you are going with physics chemistry. 
tomorrow go with chemistry biology the after tomorrow again two subjects you do not have to study all the subjects on a given day no if you are prioritizing just two subjects also right on a given day you can do all the things easily okay so there is a myth there is a myth see we have got ample amount of time left my dear students if you are prioritizing just two subjects on a given day definitely that is again a good strategy because eight months is a huge amount of time okay you can prioritize two subjects on a given day okay so the 10 hours of study you are just giving to two subjects that means every subject on a given day for example today you are starting with physics chemistry that means for physics you are giving five hours for chemistry you are giving five hours tomorrow again two subjects five five hours each and my dear students you cannot imagine if you are giving five hours to one subject on a given day you are going to kill it trust me on that and if you just follow it throughout the eight months okay you are trust me going to complete accomplish every single thing which is needed to crack this neat examination for sure okay so five hours to your one subject on a given day and just study two subjects on a given day that's all okay moving ahead moving ahead my dear students since we know we have got almost eight months left till the need 2025 examination does that mean you'll complete your whole syllabus in eight months no you do not have to complete your entire syllabus in eight months you are not going to do that you are not going to do that you are not going to complete your whole syllabus in eight months my dear students just bifurcate these eight months okay six months are to be dedicated for the syllabus completion right that means till february till february your syllabus should be done and dusted the complete syllabus of physics chemistry biology should be done and dusted till february now it is a it looks hefty task it looks huge task right but it's not huge if you exactly break this break this syllabus target into the weekly targets right so six months i'm giving you to complete the entire syllabus i'll exactly let you know how to complete the chapters i'll exactly let you know how to do the revisions etc every single thing i'm going to tell you but before that just make up your mind remember that in six months in the upcoming six months your whole syllabus of physics chemistry biology should be completed now it looks again a huge task but i'll simplify it for you but before that once we are done with the syllabus completion till february then my dear students march and april particularly should be dedicated for the revision and the full syllabus mock test revision and the full syllabus mock test these two months should be completely dedicated to the revisions and full syllabus mock test because full syllabus mock test my dear students they are going to make you exam friendly right they'll by by writing these full syllabus mock tests you'll exactly understand the exam culture that is the most important thing when it comes to your need preparation okay now now as i told you make weekly targets what does that mean since you know you have almost 80 chapters to complete if you are starting by now okay you have almost 80 chapters to complete my dear students you just have to complete 80 chapters in six months that means every week three to four chapters to be completed every week three to four chapters to be completed right so first of all you have to make your weekly targets you have to select the chapters which you are going to complete in week one right as per your ncrt sequence as per your ncrt sequence make the week one target right just note it down that this week these are the four chapters which you are going to cover and you are going to cover them definitely because you are giving 10 plus hours to study every single day so that's why i'm telling completing three to four chapters in a week it is not a difficult game at all if you are willing to dedicate 10 hours of study 10 hours of your time to your study, to your need preparation okay so that's something which i call as the weekly target so you are going to make them from now on so up right after watching this particular video select the four chapters which you are going to cover in this week one from physics let's say two from chemistry one from biology the choice is all yours okay my dear students just imagine if you are doing 10 hours of study every single day and if you are just studying for six days a week let's say since seventh day you are taking the rest you are writing the mock test or something right that means in a week you are giving 60 hours in a week you are studying for 60 hours in a week you are studying for 60 hours that means four chapters which you have selected for week one you are giving 60 hours to that <coughs> what does that mean that means in order to complete one chapter you are giving 15 hours 15 hours of effective time you are giving to one chapter and that is enough my dear students to make one chapter strong that's enough that's enough and what exactly you have to do in these 15 hours 
to, to complete this one chapter. What exactly you have to do? Few parameters, which I keep on telling you all the time. Follow the lectures. Whether you are the part of some online batch, whether you are following the uh, YouTube, right? Whether you are the part of the offline, perfect. Just follow the lectures first of all. Whatever your teacher is teaching you, right? Follow the lectures blindly, number one. Number two, just right after the lectures, DPP solving, that's again important. DPP solving, whatever material you are getting from your coaching or from whatever material you'll be having, just solve that, right? Once you're done with the DPP solving, PYQs of NEAT and J means. Last five year PYQs of NEAT and J means are to be solved, right? And once you're done with the PYQs, then at the end, you just have to write the test. This is the sequence which you just need to follow in order to cover a particular chapter. You are giving 15 hours to complete one particular chapter, right? In a week. In 15 hours, this is the process which you have to follow. That's all. By February, by February, by February end, your syllabus has to get completed. And it will get completed if you are going to do it, if you are going to follow it. Week one, four chapters. Week two, again, four chapters. Week three, again, four chapters. My dear students, imagine if you are continuing this process till February end, your whole syllabus, 80, 80 chapters of your PCB will be done and dusted. That too in the detailed manner. That too in the detailed manner, right? But keep one thing in your mind. When you are watching the lectures, right? When you are doing the preparation, when you are doing the study, right? Do not forget these three important things. My dear students, make short notes from today itself. Because short notes are going to help you out in order to do the revision in the last month, right? Short notes you have to start making from today itself. Number one. Number two, you have to make formula sheets in your physics and as well as your chemistry of different chapters. Of all the chapters, you have to make the formula sheets. Small, small formula sheets, which you keep on revising every single day for like 15 to 20 minutes. And when it comes to your organic chemistry, my dear students, this is one more important thing, which you cannot avoid. Make separate sheets for the organic reactions. Whatever organic reactions are given you in CRT, just follow them. Just follow them blindly right just note down those reactions in the separate on the separate sheets and every single day you just need to give some 15 to 20 minutes of your time to those organic reactions but every single day that is the point every single day okay every single day that's how you can remember the organic reactions that's how you can remember all the formulas of your physics and chemistry right and these short notes they are going to help you out when it comes to your revision purpose.